The Tower of London is seen as one of the most brutal, ruthless and notorious prisons in history, and there were many examples of torture and execution carried out within the walls of the fortress. It was a place where two of Henry VIII's wives would lose their heads on the scaffold near to Tower Green, and it was where a Tudor queen would be executed by an axeman during the reign of Bloody Mary I. But the tower was also a place where the rack could be found, along with other barbaric torture devices, aimed to inflict a huge degree of suffering and pain onto a person so they would give over information. During the reign of Henry VIII, there were many people who were very high profile imprisoned in the Tower of London, including his wives and friends such as Thomas Cromwell and Sir Thomas More. But one of the most shocking executions that occurred at the Tower is one which is not the most well documented, and this occurred to a beefeater or a guard, whose job it was to keep people locked up inside of the Tower. But the execution of John Board was completely horrific. Join us today as we look at the execution of the beefeater of the Tower of London, and to support our channel, please make sure to subscribe. It was during the Tudor period that beefeaters were used inside of the Tower of London, but in 1534, John Board, a guard inside of the Tower, was a man who was very loyal to King Henry VIII. He remained loyal until a woman would corrupt his mind, and he would, because of this, become a forgotten victim of the Tower and the guards there. Alice Tankerwell, it's believed, was a woman who was a common criminal, and she was married to a man named John Wolfe, who himself was well known across the English capital for being a criminal and a thief. He and Alice, however, were allegedly caught having stolen a large amount of money and wealth from Henry VIII from one of his barges and ships. This was a huge problem, and Henry VIII himself was furious, and over 300 gold crowns went missing, and if there was one person you did not want to steal from, it was a Tudor monarch with his fierce temper. But Alice Tankerville and John Wolfe were both imprisoned, and they were held inside of the Tower of London. They were both held there, and they became known to John Board, whose job it was to keep them locked up. But the guard would spend a lot of time with Alice Tankerville, and he would smuggle in things for her to get her a little more comfort inside of the walls of the fortress. John Wolfe, Alice's husband, was released from the tower, and he asked the guard, John Board, to keep an eye on Alice, and he did this. Wolfe, Alice's husband, then left to go to Ireland, and Alice was now alone in England, and she must have believed that she would be executed for stealing from the king. But each day John Board would visit Alice, and the pair spent a lot of time together inside of her prison cell. But their friendship blossomed into love, and Alice and John then began to plan a new life together, and they planned to come up with an escape plan to leave the Tower of London. Some historians believe that Alice may have been more intelligent than it's believed, and that she may have been manipulating Board to get her out of the Tower, but Board would smuggle a wooden stick to Alice, and even oil the hinges of her cell door, and he managed to give her a copy of the key to the lock on the cold harbour gate, where she was being held. This meant that the guard had managed to give her a key to the tower and she could slip out, but she wanted Board's further assistance. One evening after the guards had done their final checks and rounds, Alice used the wooden stick that John gave her and she slid it under the door and she then knocked the wooden pin that held the cell door and the latch. Then she opened the door and she was worried that any sound would alert some guards, but she managed to escape her cell and tower and she also then managed to get to the cold harbour gate. She evaded a number of guards and then unlocked the gate and rushed through, and she then locked the gate again and threw the key into the moat, where she waited for John Board to meet her. Board the guard came towards Alice whistling, and then Board and Alice reunited, and they walked hand in hand down a muddy path over the wooden drawbridge over the river, and along the riverbank towards the city of London, towards John's home, where they would begin a new life. Alice Tankerville must have believed that she had done it, and she must have thought she may have escaped the hangman's noose at least. John Board hoped that he would not meet any of his fellow guards and jailers, who would then notice him, and he removed his cape and covered Alice with it, and the pair then walked away from the tower. But this freedom would not last long. A group of night watchmen were approaching the pair, and Board hoped they would not recognise him, but one of the men allegedly worked at the Tower of London, and he noticed Alice Tankerville, and with this, the pair were then dragged back into the Tower of London. The guard and prisoner had been captured, and Alice was dragged back screaming, and she was thrown inside of a new cell, where she had a large iron lock, and she cried as she was now locked in. There was no hope for her anymore. The guards laughed at her, but John Board, the beefeater and guard's treatment, would be even worse. 
John Board was sent into his own prison cell of little ease, a tiny oubliette style dungeon inside of the tower's walls. This was a very small 1.2 meter square cell where a prisoner could not stand up or lay down in, and Board was forced to be crouched in a cramped position for long periods of time. Alice Tankle and her husband John Wolfe would later be executed in a brutal manner, as they were both condemned for stealing from the king, and her husband following returning from Ireland was arrested. The pair were taken to the bottom of the tower in the River Thames, and they were then shackled to a wall, and the guards continued to laugh at them as they panicked as the River Thames submerged part of their bodies. But then as the tide of the river rose, Alice Tankerville and her husband could not escape as they were chained to the river's walls, and they would drown and they were slowly executed over a few painful hours. However, the suffering of John Board continued. The tower at this time during the Tudor period would become known for torture with devices such as a rack and the scavenger's daughter being used to make a prisoner suffer. For those guards at the tower, John Board's actions were a great deal of shame. They wanted to make him suffer for bringing shame upon the guard force. Because of this, they tortured him and made him suffer in many ways, and in such a way that no prisoner had ever been tortured before. He was placed, as mentioned, inside of Little Ease, which is believed to have been the worst torture method inside of the tower, and it was reserved only for high-profile prisoners such as Guy Fawkes. But it's believed also that Board was subjected to the rack. This was a brutal device in which the prisoners would be stretched limb from limb, and the sight of the device was enough for victims to give over information. But John Board did not have any information to give over, and he was tortured in such a way to teach him a serious and severe lesson. It's possible he may have also been shoved in the scavenger's daughter, a device which was aimed to compress. It's clear that by the time he was suffering heavily, but he then would be condemned and executed in one of the most horrific ways possible. His execution did not occur quickly, like those who lost their heads inside of the Tower of London, but John Board would be hanged in chains above the walls of the tower to show what happened to anyone who betrayed the king and was a traitor. He was hung by the arms high up from the walls of the tower and was alive when his ordeal began and he was also naked. He then succumbed to exposure and the severe pain of his torture and execution ordeal and then the ravens of the Tower of London picked at his skin and dead corpse and there was just a collection of bones left. He was then left hanging above the tower for months and anyone who walked past his body were reminded of the crimes of John Board and the horror of his ordeal. There is no record whether the money stolen from King Henry VIII, the gold crowns, were ever found, but the ordeals of the three people involved were equally horrific. Alice Tankerville and her husband were hanged at the low watermark on the River Thames, but the ordeal of John Board was brutal and terrible, and he was a man who was tasked with guarding prisoners such as Alice, but after falling in love with her, he would help break his prisoner out, and this would have dire consequences. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, Please make sure to subscribe and once again, thank you so much for watching.